can be hard when you grow up. People feel you with doubt. You start thinking about what you're gonna do now. And it's do or die. Gotta make it count. So lose your worries. Let your problems go on. Until my whole body burns out. I ain't never gonna slow down. Welcome everyone, this is Coaching in Session. My name is Michael Reardon and I will be your mindset coach today. And today we're gonna be talking about the moment in a decision or before the decision. I have a blog that came about, I was reading the Tony Robbins book, Giant Steps, and it came to me. There is a decision that we are faced sometimes right before the moment of critical action. Think of it as do or die. If you have to do something, do you procrastinate? Especially if it's do or die. Most likely not. But yet in our day-to-day lives, I mean, how many people procrastinate? How many people wait? How many people put off? How many people do not do the things that they need to do? Too many, right? Too many people are waiting for Superman to come save them, or they're waiting for the right time, or they are waiting for them to finally say, you know what, enough is enough. And most people typically wait for those moments. Most people wait for a trauma. They wait for a hardship. They wait for the pain to be too much. But yet, in our life, we get to make a choice. We can wait for the pain or we can not wait for the pain, right? I mean, it seems very simple, but yet many people wait for the pain. Many people wait for the moment to be too much to handle before they say, you know what, I need to take action. But today, we're going to be learning how we can take action in the moment in decision. So let's take a look at my most recent blog, The Moment in Decision. All right, everyone, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and to share the video and or audio to help build a community of like-minded individuals. Today, we're gonna be talking about the moment in decision and basically what this is meaning is that before you do something or have to do something, there's going to be a moment, a, a junction, a juncture, whatever you wanna consider it, where you should be taking some type of action. And if you don't take the action, there's going to be consequences later on in life. Maybe it can be that you're unhappy, full of regrets. Life can bring about many different problems if you are not taking proactive action toward the person you need to be. What this means is in the moment, you have to create some awareness. And I talk about this in the blog today because It is important to understand that in order for us to realize why we do something or why we don't do something, we need to figure out who we are essentially because we are an accumulation of all the things that we want and we are sometimes the accumulation of all the things that we don't want. Sometimes people, they get them intertwined and and it's hard to separate them. And most people, they want the good life but they're not willing to do the things to get them a good life. That is basically as straightforward as I can be. There's people who want it in life and there's people who kind of want it in life. For the people who truly want it, they'll give everything, every ounce of themselves. There's no wasted time. There's no wasted effort. I understand there can be a moment when you take a reprieve, a break. You have some well-earned rest. There's a difference between taking a break and quitting. There's a difference between taking a break and putting off. There is a difference between taking a break today and a difference between waiting until the right moment. I mean, there's just so many different aspects to a moment. Think of New Year's resolutions, right? I mean, I talk about this so often because it is maybe the best example. Especially around summertime, most people, they're like, I already messed up my resolution, so I'll just start next year. Literally, you're in June and July, and you're saying you're going to wait six months to start what you want to start. That's crazy. You can say that you need to start next month, cool, but if you are on January 2nd and you need to start next month, you have just wasted a whole month. So there's going to be aspects to things that we say, the things that we do, and in the moment of decision is exactly that. Do we take action or do we have inaction? Or do we not take action? There are many reasons to why someone doesn't take action, but let's start to look at the moment first and then start to dissect the inaction and the action part. So as I said, 
If you want to make a difference in your life, you need to make sure that when you can make a life-changing decision, and I'm talking about the good ones, people. I'm not talking about, all right, a life-changing decision. Should I go with the Tide or should I go with the all laundry detergent? I mean, that's not necessarily life-changing. I mean, it could give you a rash if you picked the wrong one, but it's not life-changing. Now, I understand Tide can be $4 more than the all, but guess what? It's not life-changing. Life-changing is going to be, all right, am I going to jump off this cliff without a parachute or am I going to have a parachute? It can be that, am I going to get married to this person that I shouldn't get married to or should I find a person that has all my values aligned? There are many choices that we get to make. Sometimes people make the wrong choices, but yet, do our choices define us? Eventually, they will. But sometimes we think about, oh, I made the wrong choice. And that is the end all be all. It's not. We get to choose that if we make a wrong choice, what does that choice mean for us later on? The choice can be a bit of learning, a bit of wisdom, knowledge, but then sometimes that choice can be, I'm afraid to take action. Sometimes that fear of failure, the fear of making the wrong move again, can inhibit you from truly taking action. And I have found that a good majority of people, This is where they are. So the moment they have to do something, the moment they have to, let's say, call somebody for work, or the moment they have to fill an application, or the moment they have to talk to their loved one about something that's big that's happening in their life, guess what? You don't want to do it because it doesn't feel good. You have learned from experience, maybe, that it doesn't feel good. The issue that we have there is that you have to have those difficult conversations even with yourself. If you're not showing up in your life, you have to say, I'm not showing up. I have to take accountability. People who are not taking accountability, the people who are just kind of going through with everything, they're going to have a more difficult time taking action when it counts. Because there's going to be meaningful tasks, as I was saying, and there's going to be meaningless tasks, as I was saying. Sometimes the high priority tasks are going to be the most daunting Maybe they require the most amount of work, but they also bring about the most benefit. If you do some of the high priority tasks that you need to do, that you know you have to do, that you're just procrastinating on, you're going to find that you are going to be elevating yourself to new heights, new regards. This is not to say that if you are trying to make a difference in your life, you should just look at all the hard tasks and do them. Sometimes that is not going to even be the case. Because sometimes the hard tasks are going to be things that are away from your genius, away from what you should be doing, away from your likes and things like that. Because in reality, the things that we don't want to do are just the things that typically we associate with things that we're bad at, things that we find displeasure in. And this is where people are. They find displeasure and they're not so much necessarily good at it. However, Just because you're not good at something is not an excuse for you not to do it. For example, when I started the podcast, I didn't know anything about podcasting. I said, I'm just going to start a show. And I think I had like 20 or 30 people show up for the first live show. And it was nothing big, nothing major, nothing crazy. We were live. We did it live on YouTube. And guess what? We had audio issues. We had video issues. I mean, this was life for me. But then eventually I figured out what type of podcast I wanted to have. I figured out what type of message I wanted to send. And the message hasn't changed a whole lot. It just has become more refined and more focused. The idea is that we have a mindset right now. And the mindset can be a good or bad mindset. It could be beneficial mindset. It cannot be a beneficial mindset. Most people, they want a beneficial mindset. They want a mindset that's going to help them get to the things that they want to get. But guess what? Most people are not going to do the things that they need to be doing in order to get the things that they need or they know that they need. I find it astounding. It is easy to take the lesser road. It is easy to have an action. I mean, heck, if I didn't have to do something, would I? Would I do something that didn't need my touch, didn't need my hand, didn't need my attention, didn't need my expertise. I probably wouldn't. I would probably just focus on the things that I know I need or the things that I know only I can do. 
And that's basically the mindset because the moment in decision is about what you can do. You are always in control. Your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions, right? The moment in decision, right? You walk in to your house and your house is dirty. The moment in decision, what do you do? Do you clean? Do you yell? Do you ignore and just sit on top of all the trash and everything? I mean, people do it. But guess what? There's a moment where you say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick up the broom. I'm going to pick out all the clothes and put them in the hamper and then pick up all the garbage and put them in the trash. And you start to change and you start to put things back together and put things to where they need to be. Because sometimes in life, our life can be so hectic where we just kind of put off and eventually we are dealing with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress because we're trying to play catch up. And if you are a person that is not focused on on your potential in those moments when you can make a decision, most of the time you're going to choose comfort. It is easy to not take action. It feels good actually not to take action. But I will say it feels better to do the action after. One of the best examples I love to give is going to the gym. I like going to the gym five days out of the week, if not more. But guess what? Not every single day I want to go to the gym. There are some days when I'm like, you know what? I don't want to go to the gym. There are some days when I say, you know what? I would rather just stay home and eat pizza. You know what? There's just some days where, you know, I just want to sleep a little bit more. But guess what? Duty calls. Decision is right there in the moment. So in that moment when I have a choice, I can choose mediocrity, complacency, weakness, whatever you want to consider it, the lesser road, I can choose greatness. I can choose a higher self. I can choose to be a better version of myself. It's a mindset, right? Because you have to get acclimated to that. When you have a hard choice to make, what do you do typically? Most people run. Like, oh, I don't want to make it. I'll make it later. So they make the choice later. When in reality, we should be making that choice now. So there is that moment that we do have to give some attention to. Two schools of thought here. Mindfulness and awareness. Now, you can be aware of your mind, but mindfulness is being aware of everything else. Because awareness is just bringing attention to it. Mindfulness is fully understanding it. In that moment, You might say, I'm aware that I don't want to do this. Mindfulness is going to be teaching you, why do I not want to do this? Oh, the reason why I don't want to do this is because I failed before. The reason why I don't want to do this is because I know many people who have failed before, or it's scary, or it's a lot of work. It's going to take me hours to do it. I mean, I can't tell you how many hours I spend in the office, working with clients, researching, doing what I maybe don't like to do some days. I write blogs, books, everything that I know is going to be of benefit to you, to the world. Some days I just have writer's block or I have moments when I just can't think, what do I do? I say, in those moments, I give myself the fuel in order to think. There is a long time bit of advice when it comes to if you are a person who can't sleep. For example, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you know you can't go back to sleep, get up, get literally get out of your bed, move somewhere. Don't just sit in front of a TV. I'm, I'm talking about literally get up and do something productive. You're going to be maybe up for an hour, maybe two hours, and then you're going to get tired. Those moments right there are going to make you a better person because you're not just sitting in bed waiting to fall back asleep. Because again, you're highly suggestible right when you wake up, typically. And if you are going to sleep, you are slightly suggestible, okay? Yeah, you can do things, but when you're in the morning, your brain is just ready to go, all right? It's looking at all the good things. There's nothing stopping it. Hopefully, you just got some good rest and the brain is willing to do what it has to do. So you're better off not wasting that time just sitting there in bed doing nothing. Because what you teach your brain is, oh, we can wait. Oh, we can take it easy. Oh, we don't have to have action. And guess what happens? You stop taking action when it counts. When you truly need to be taking action, there is an aspect to the moment in a decision. Do you go on your smartphone or do you read a book? 
Do you go to the movies or do you go to the gym? Do you make food or do you go get fast food? There's always a moment before you make a choice. Are you making the right choice? And I'm not going to be the keeper of choices saying, oh, you made a wrong choice. And since you made a wrong choice, this is the outcome for your choices. No, I'm not going to do that. If you want to make a choice, make it. But then ask yourself at the end, right? Bring some mindfulness to it. Did that choice bring about some type of benefit to me? And I'm not talking about comfort only. I'm talking about prosperity. Because if you can grow as a person, right? If you can awaken that person within you to be better, to reach your full potential, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you dare to defy your norms, your current set of living standards? Most people give themselves the idea of they would, but then will they give themselves the action? This is where we are, the moment in decision. And today I'm going to present a decision to you. Will you take action? How will you take action? Most of my mindset coaching is helping people in this moment of decision. Because when they're thinking, right, maybe they're stuck. Happens to a lot of good people. They just get stuck in their thinking. When you get a mindset coach, when you get a life coach, when you get a mentor, typically they get you unstuck very quickly. Because we understand something that being stuck is not a good place to be. So whenever I get stuck, I reach out to a mentor, I get a coach, because I understand in order for me to elevate myself, I have to be unstuck. Think of if your car has a flat tire. You're not going anywhere until that tire is changed, until that tire is replaced. You might think, oh, well, you know, I'm going to drive on my tire. Cool. You might go, you know, a couple miles or whatever. Maybe you make it. But maybe you also destroy the tire. Maybe you also destroy the rim of the car. And now you have bigger problems. But then there's an aspect of if you lose all of your tires and you have no tread, and you're trying to drive on the rim, guess what? Your car is just going to keep on spinning. You're not going anywhere. So you have a choice. You can wait until all four tires blow out and then now you have no choice and you're stuck. Or you can try to kind of go places with three tires and maybe you get there. Or you can say, I'm going to do the work. Change the tire that is broken, flat needs to be replaced, and then you can make forward progression a lot quicker. We have to understand that we can go very slow to our goal. We can make progress 1%, half a step, whatever you need to do in order to reach your goal. But whenever you're faced with a decision and you don't take action, you are just making it more difficult for your mind to say, okay, in these moments, I need to be taking more proactive action versus Oh, I'm in this moment. I don't want to take action. I always found that in those moments of decision, I am not only aware that I have a choice, but then I'm mindful if I make the wrong choice. I say, why did I make the wrong choice? Why did I choose not to do calls this day? Why did I choose not to do emails? Why did I choose not to do a recording? Why did I choose not to write my blog? Why did I choose comfort? The answer was always, because comfort feels good. But you know what also doesn't feel good? Staying in the same spot. Not growing. Not living life to the fullest. Not living to my fullest potential. Not living in abundance. Living in the moment and doing nothing does not get me the good things in life. So that means if I want the good things in life, I need to start to focus on the things that I might not want to do. And that's going to require me to look at the moment and make a decision. The decision is going to be something that I need to be doing, not something that I feel like I need to do. So as I said, the moment in decision is talking about what you should be doing in that moment when you get to make a choice. Most often, people are going to see these moments as another opportunity to do nothing. But I want you to notice those opportunities, and I want you to decide that this moment can be a powerful decision. If you are just kind of going with the ebb and flow of life, you're going to find that your role and what you get at the end of it are not going to be exactly what you want. They're not going to be monumental. They're not going to be anything big. They're not going to bring fulfillment. They're not going to help you realize your dreams. 
there's just going to be another decision. But the decision that you can be making, the decision that you can be growing, the decision that you can be flourishing is going to require you to have a higher mindset and it's going to require you to push even more than what you have intentionally thought. Your feelings are not going to drive you alone. You need to have the mindset. You need to have the awareness, but then you need to be mindful to take the action and not do the former of inaction. So all in all, when we're talking about the moment in decision, it's a very simple aspect. It's a very simple concept. You want to grow in the moments. You're going to have a moment every point of your day, right? Typically, it's going to be limited to some moments, right? Because especially if you have habits and schedules, those are not necessarily going to be moments. For example, a moment can happen right in the morning. Do you pick up your smartphone or do you go to the gym, get up, brush your teeth, whatever, right? That's a moment you get to make a choice. And I remember in college, one of the first things I did in the morning was I went on my smartphone went on social media, wasted 30 minutes of my life, maybe sometimes even longer, and I procrastinated going to the gym. But then I realized, why am I wasting all of this time? Right in the morning, first thing when I wake up, and now my phone is on silent, it is on do not disturb, it is not trying to bother me. Yes, I see some notifications, and I say, I'll get to them later. If anything, it creates a sense of anticipation, maybe a bit of joy, like a kid before Christmas is like, oh, what did I get? But I'm not hungry for it. I'm not hungry for that sense of connectiveness with society, with social media. I understand I have to message clients back, emails. That has to happen, right? But there's a time in the day for that. It's not so much of right when I wake up. Right when I wake up, that's my prime time. That's my glory time. If I want to get something done, I do it in the morning, right when I wake up. Go to the gym. I got to do some work in the office. I'm going to do it in the morning. Because I understand something about the morning times, they can be extremely powerful. But not every morning is going to be powerful for everybody because you have to understand that everybody is different. Some people enjoy doing work at night. I have a whole episode on that, how to be that millionaire in the evenings, because the nighttime is the best time for them. Whichever you decide, whether it be the morning or the evening, there's always going to be a decision to be had. And in that moment, I want you to choose your better self, not so much of your weaker self. Do not choose comfort. Stay away from it. Choose to reach a higher potential, fuller potential. There is an aspect to it. You know, when it comes to mindset, it's not so much as, you know, clean cut and super easy and super simple. Sometimes there's going to be a lot of fluctuations going on. There's going to be a lot of things you need to understand. And there's going to be a sense of urgency that you have to give yourself. Right now, things can be good. There could be no urgency necessary. So you might say, well, what's the point? People procrastinate because they have time. But let's say you don't have time anymore. Yeah, you're going to get things done a lot quicker. But how much time was wasted? We have a moment right now to stop wasting time, to become more proactive in our days and to do the things that we want to do. I always encourage people, if you can do it, why not do it? And sometimes I always catch myself, actually, when I say, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I go, wait, what? I'm going to do it later? I'm going to do it tomorrow? No, I'm doing it now, right? I I gave myself a punishment, right? I have to do it now. I got in trouble by my own self because I understand. Life is not about putting off things. It's about doing the things that you need to do immediately. Some things are going to take some time. Some things are going to take some planning, but most things are going to require you to simply say, let's go. So if you're ready to go, start today. Don't wait. Don't linger on the concept of later because the moment is here. The moment is now. The moment is waiting for you. Will you accept the moment in your life? My name is Michael Reardon. I'm a mindset coach. If you have any questions, email me coachingandsession at gmail.com. And I'll see everyone on the next episode of Coaching in Session. Until then, everyone take care.